Coming up on Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House, we'll be starting leaf lettuce from seed as well as transplanting a vine cucumber plant. I'll show you how so you can also have great success. Sponsored by Eco Garden House. At last, an indoor greenhouse equipped with complete easy lighting and watering systems. You can grow perfect organic produce and plants at your home all year round. Grow 24-7, 365. You now have no excuses. Welcome to Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House. I'm Joy Barrett. Well, we're going to plant some uh, cucumbers as well as some lettuce in the Eco Garden House. I've already got this halfway open. We'll go ahead and open the other side here. Very easy to do. Top zipper, bottom zipper and it folds back. Now, if you'd like to catch up, if you haven't caught up on the previous episodes on uh, that we've done, what is the Eco Garden House? That link is in the show notes below, as well as in the pop-up above, as well as planting tomatoes and uh, tomatoes and basil, as well as peppers, uh, intercropping radishes, as well as uh, yeah, that was it on that one. So all those links are in the show notes below as well as they will rotate there at the top of the page. So the first thing we want to do here is raise the grow light up and so we can get in there and work. Now the fans have kicked off because it has they have pulled the air out and they've cooled the internal portions of the Eco Garden House down to what I have it set at. And you can set the range of whatever you would like to do, uh, set it at. Uh, just keep in mind what you are growing. You want that to be uh, the ambient or the optimal temperature to grow. You don't want it to be, you know, extremely hot or extremely cool in here. And also based on your setup, that will determine how frequently the fans go on and off. So the first thing we want to do is we want to raise the light up and get a little uh, lever here. And then we'll get in here and we'll get our cucumbers planted. So we get the light raised up so we can get in there and work where this uh, these cucumbers are going to go they're going to go on the back side back corner there and based on what you're growing you can place these things anywhere you want this is just how we have set up our eco garden house and also you want to be aware of there's you know the light during the how long the light comes on goes off and some plants are or have are light sensitive or daylight sensitive which means they need a certain amount of light to either develop a bulb or a flower and others it doesn't matter how long the light is they will go ahead and deter they will uh, flower and produce fruit so keep that on mind just a little uh, research you have to do based on what you're wanting to grow so we're gonna put the grow bag in the back corner this is a 15 gallon grow bag from root trapper 2 uh, rootmaker.com now this it was supposed to be all white this is just a tip for everybody. Don't put these in the washing machine. Uh, a lot of the uh, outside portion comes off of it. Nothing wrong with the grow bag itself. Just doesn't look as appealing as, uh, you know, something like that. So we're going to use good certified or potting soil from Sue. This has uh, a potting soil mix in it as well as it does have perlite and some certified leaf compost. So with that mixture, we want to keep these on a little drier order, a drier uh, on the soil, simply because we are actually using real compost in the mixture. Based on what you decide to use, soilless mix, a uh, cocoa core base, uh, it's, it's up to you and you have to do your research based on what you're using and the amount of nutrients that is required for that particular medium. So we're just going to fill this bag up. This has a slow release fertilizer in it that will release over the next 90 days, as well as perlite, which is what these, the white styrofoam particle looking things are, and that just helps aerate and hold some of the moisture into uh, the soil there. So we'll add a little bit more here. Now what the what I would recommend is anytime you're using a container or grow bag is you do want to leave a little space at the top. You don't want to fill it completely level full because you do want to have a little lip for the soil to kind of 
if you do over water or you do water, uh, you do want to have a little base in there. You know, it's not level full and it doesn't spill, you know, over the top. So now what we're doing here, we've got some cucumbers that we have already started along with some basil I threw in the little cell. Now these were started about 35 days ago. These were started outside prior to getting the Eco Garden House. And we had, uh, they dried out and some of the leaves got very dry and dead looking. So I removed them to help the plant redevelop. We do have some baby cucumbers on the, uh, the vines here. Now there's two types of cucumber, or there's a couple of varieties of cucumbers here. Let's talk about that for a minute. There is a vining cucumber, which are these. There is a more of a bush variety cucumber, which are those. And certain varieties of cucumbers only put female flowers on and they self-pollinate themselves. They don't need assistance from bees. Some of those are the hybrid varieties. With this particular variety, this is a pickling cucumber and we will have to hand pollinate. And that's what some of these will. The, the peppers we want, the, the tomatoes we want, the, the cucumbers will be one thing we'll have to hand pollinate. And you can simply use a paintbrush or a Q-tip as the male flowers, which would be a flower such as that, that doesn't have a fruit on the back side of it, that will take the pollen from that and pollinate the female flowers, which do have the beginning stages of a baby cucumber. Now, what the best thing we can do here is, I'm gonna leave this on, but I'm pretty certain that that's because of the shock here, as well as these up here, is going to fall off in the, in the shock of the transplant. But we're gonna go ahead and plant anyway, uh, without removing. So, and we'll talk about how we can trellis this. So we want to uh, plant it at the same depth as it was in the container. So this is a 15 gallon grow bag. Uh, the basil there, we'll just nestle that there. And you could get away with probably a 10 uh, gallon grow bag, but again, we want the roots to have adequate space. A plant will produce better if there's a lot of root space and the plant is very uh, low to no stress. It can focus on the plant development as well as the fruit production rather than being stressed out because there is so minute amount of mass for, for uh, massive soil for the roots to develop. So now we're gonna take this particular cucumber, which on a cucumber, on the vining cucumbers, you can see there's these, uh, these little stringy things that are is what allows the plant to grasp on to other plants, uh, a trellis if you uh, make one, or in nature uh, to, to crawl up other vines or trees in, that, in some instances. So that's what we're gonna work on a string there and I'll let these start cascading or crawling up the side of the Eco Garden House. Okay, so we're going to put it back in this back corner. And I do have a string here already that we're going to help the cucumber crawl up. And we we'll want to get these here. I want to get it up against the wall. Now we will hook an irrigation system up to this as well. And this irrigation system, we can run eight separate uh, feed eight separate plants, or like I have here, feed a whole bunch of plants on one, one separate uh, line. And one thing you wanna keep in mind, no matter what type of medium that you are using, you wanna read your plants and let them tell you what they need. And I mean, what I mean by that is you can see some yellowing on the leaves here on this particular plant, as well as that plant there. I don't see it a whole lot on that one or this one, but that's a telltale sign that the plant's receiving too much water. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut the water off just for a day or two, and you can either adjust the length or the duration of the pump running, or simply just turn off that second time or unplug it so it doesn't run for a cycle. And then we'll see where we're at uh, in a couple of days if this clears up or we need to do other um, measures to help ensure that the plant's uh, best success but those have really greened up incredibly well over the last couple of weeks, as well as flower clusters, as well as the peppers and the, and the basil here. So back to the cucumbers, I've got this string here and I simply just ran it around this brace here. As we get closer to that, I can run another string off the top frame and run it down and tie it into this here. So basically you're just kind of, and, and you don't have to trellis this, you can let this kind of go wherever it wants, 
but this would be more of a controlled grow uh, as we do it this way. So we're just going to take and talked about these tentacles there that we're just going to help wrap around the string just to let the plant know, hey, there's something to grab onto. And I will put another string. Well, I can just do it both. I can do everything right here. And then I'll add probably another string to I'll let these grow up together. Okay. Now with the base here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it long. And it's just a plastic string, agricultural twine. Any type of string will work, natural or synthetic. And I'm just going to take and really just bury the string because that's it's not going to rot. But just add it, make it look a little nicer. And then as these will crawl up and get to this point, I'll run another string again down and, and let them grow up. And this will put on some more, more foliage there. So that's how we plant the cucumber. And again, we might have, yeah, with certain varieties, you will have to pollinate and some you won't. So let's talk about growing leaf lettuce next. So now with leaf lettuce, again, uh, leaf lettuce, optimal germination uh, temperature is 80 degrees. It grows best between 65 and 70. So you want to kind of keep that in mind because it's in a controlled environment, we're, we're able to control the temperature better and we can place it in areas where leaf lettuce doesn't require 12 hours of sunlight type of uh, vegetable. It will grow in partial shade or about four to six hours of sunlight. So it doesn't have to be directly on the light. The side lights really al allow a lot of these plants to grow better than if the side lights weren't there. So what I've got here is I'm gonna plant six, seven, eight different varieties of leaf lettuce. And you may think that's an incredible amount of leaf lettuce, but keep in mind here, based on what your needs are, will determine how much leaf lettuce you want to uh, plant. And there's eight different varieties of leaf lettuce, which means all of these varieties will mature at different stages. So we don't have all leaf lettuce maturing in 45 days. Some are 45, some are 50, some are 55, some are 60. So, and these are cut and come again, which means you can harvest them, uh, keep them watered, and they will regrow again on over and over again. So it's a, a very beneficial plant to have outside as well as in the eco garden house. So these are just six inch pots by five inch. Uh, we uh, were given these from a neighbor who does uh, a lot of landscaping. A lot of plants came in these. So we've uh, put these through a hot soapy water mix so we can make sure they're clean. And we're just gonna fill them up with the potting soil. And I've got this nice little tray here so I can put them all and move them around as needed. So we're just going to fill them up again with about an inch uh, top there. Now you can mark these so you know what each variety is or if you don't care and like we're just going to plant all of them and then as they mature we'll harvest them so it really doesn't make a difference that we want one versus the other. But with leaf lettuce this particular here is a gourmet mix and they're fairly small seeds, but you do, uh, you can plant a lot, which is called intensive planting. Instead of planting, you know, four in this container, I'm gonna plant about 40, and they will grow very well in a very confined area. Okay, so uh, that's what intensive planting is. So we can get, we can maximize our space to the utmost because of what we have available. So I'm just gonna take and broadcast them around. And I'm just going to really put a very thick coat of seeds on, on this. And I'm just going to take a handful of more soil. And we just want to lightly coat the seeds, quarter inch if that, uh, just to make sure they get below soil. And then I want to press down gently. And then once we get them all planted, we'll, we'll water them in. But I'll get these planted and then we'll talk about where to put these and uh, how to get these to grow to their best uh, capabilities. Okay, so I've got all eight varieties of uh, lettuce planted here. Now what we can do here, I'm gonna set them over on the, I'm just gonna set them right there. That'll give them plenty of light as we lower the light back down since we're done working in here and it would get a little side light as well. Now, what you can do is I can run an irrigation system here and each on these emitters, every foot there is a drip, uh, a drip emitter and I could run 
and have it drip for each one of these. But I'm not going to do that because I want to save the uh, the lines for when we have other things planted here. Lettuce is a plant or a, a plant uh, that can easily be watered here. We are in smaller containers, so we just I need to watch this. You're going to check on this on a daily basis anyway because the garden is so readily available in your house. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water, and this is just an old baby powder bottle that I've cleaned out. I've popped the lid off, cleaned it out, and I, I use it as a watering uh, device now. And again, we just want to soak, get the soil damp, but not sopping wet. These will germinate in about five days, maybe four, uh, because it is going to be warmer in the Eco Garden House than it would be in the native soil in early spring. So they will germinate very rapidly. So we just want to keep them watered. If you grow these, let's say if you did in a large container such as behind me or what we put in the, cu the cucumbers in, then you could hook an irrigation system up. It's really your control of how you want to water it. We're just showing you how we are determining the reasons why we're doing what we're doing. So some of these will mature in 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 days and they will continue to come back as we continue to cut and uh, cut them and harvest them they will regrow as a cut and come again so cucumbers and lettuce can be grown very successfully in the eco garden house and then we will uh, and uh, an anxiously await the anticipation of harvesting our first lettuces out of the eco garden house thanks for joining me joining me again next time on growing indoors with the eco garden house and i'm joy baird for more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable